Now, remembering back to the four guards fight in the last game being one of the best examples of a first boss since Major Ocelot, you'd be forgiven if I'd think the first boss of this game would be a close second to that. Apparently not. An hour into this game, we get to the first boss literally out of nowhere after we finish a side-scrolling section. These are the five cyborg guards preventing you from getting to the base, and this is what I call bullshit because these five guys are obviously designed to look like upgraded Arnold cyborgs from Outer Heaven, which isn't possible because Dr. Madnar had escaped Outer Heaven prior to the events of this game, and the only two examples of the robots had disintegrated when Solid Snake was done with them. The fight itself would have been halfway decent if these guys weren't being derived by the bullshit school for video game developers because these guys' weakness weapon are the grenades, a lobbing weapon. If you've seen my bulldozer fight video, you'll already know why this doesn't work. Yet what also doesn't work is that the number of hits to beat all these guys is less than the maximum amount of grenades you can have at rank 2 in this game, which is completely unfair. If you were playing this game normally, you'd probably be sent into paroxysms of frustrated torment by these footballing cyborgs, and even playing with save states is annoying as all shit because of the game's lack of resources. So, in short, the tackle-only brigade of football players here is simply too bloody difficult to be the first at bat and should have been shunted to a later point in the game. The weakness is too fiddly to control well, and these guys have a near-perfect ability to get hits in when there's at least three of them left. And what's the worst part is that this first impression of the game extends throughout the rest of it.